Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSunday.com. In this video, we are going to learn about how to implement the push notification with your Flutter project. So this is the sample app we are going to create. So I'm just minimizing it. So whenever I send the notification from the terminal, so we will receive the notification like this. And uh, we are also sending the push notification and uh, we are receiving the title here. So this is the sample app which we are going to implement. So let's jump into the lesson. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the instant notification whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Links on the description. To work with the push notification, first we have to create a new Flutter project. So I'm creating Flutter Create FCM. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now we have created a new project, so I need to change the working directory and I'm opening the code editor. So, first of all, we have to navigate with the buff specification and here we have to declare our dependency. So, we are going to use the Firebase messaging package. So, let's go to the installation. So, here we need to add the dependency like this. So now we have added the Firebase dependency. I'm saving the file. So VS Code is automatically getting my packages. So let's do other steps. So here I have written tutorial about uh, implementing the Firebase push notification. So let's go through. So we already created a project and we added the dependency. So next we have to work with the uh, Android built Gradle file. So we have to navigate with your Android app, SRC, and then uh, build.gradle. So I'm just navigating to Android and then app and build.gradle. So here I need to add the uh, blackins. So I'm just copying up the blackin. So here I'm adding. So then I need to update my package name. So here I need to update it. Okay, so here you can see we have updated my package name. And then uh, we have to work with the uh, Android build.gradle. So navigate to your Android folder. So here you can see build.gradle. Here we need to add the class path for Google service. So inside the dependency, I need to add the class path. So I'm just saving the file. So then we have to work with Android manifest.xml. So that we can find inside Android app folder, src and open the main so here you can find android manifest.xml so now we have to add these lines inside your activity just aligning the code now you can save it so now we have um, completed some parts of uh, configuration then we have to go to your firebase project then we have to add some projects so you need to go to the project overview, click the settings and click project setting. So first of all, you need to add the support email. So then go to your Android. Here you need to type the package name. So the package name I can find here, com.codesundar.xcm. So you can use any. And then uh, nickname. So now we have to generate the SHK1 key. So here you can see the tutorial. So since I'm using the Linux or a Mac, so I'm just executing. In case if you are using Windows, you need to uh, copy this ter commands. So I'm opening my terminal and execute this. It will ask the password. Default password is Android. So now you can see some keys generated. I'm copying the key and pasting here. Next, click register app. So it takes few seconds and then we have to download the Google service.json. Just download the file. Once you downloaded the Google service, click next. So then click next. You can skip this step. Okay, so now we got the Google service.json. We have to copy the google service.json and paste inside the app folder so this is my project 
and I need to go to the Android and uh, go to the downloads so here I'm just copying it and paste inside the app folder so now we have completed the steps okay so then we have to work with the flutter part so I'm just navigating to main.dart so here I'm just copying the source code and pasting here and save the file so let me explain it one by one so first we have uh, included the material dot dot because we are uh, going to work with a UI so then we have to include our firebase messaging so which we have included uh, inside the bub specification so then we have created a stateful widget because whenever we are receiving a message so we need to display the message so that's why we created a stateful widget so then I have created a string called message so which is uh, going to display your message and then we have created a firebase messaging instance from the firebase messaging so using this only we can generate the token and we can receive the message like uh, whatever we want to do with the notification so first I have created a uh, function called register so using this firebase messaging instance so we are getting the token so once the token is successful so we are simply printing the token into the terminal you can use this token and you can uh, store it on somewhere else in in case if you are working with uh, some uh, database kind of project but uh, since we are creating a simple example so i am just simp simply printing the token into the terminal so next uh, i have created a function called or a method called get message so so inside the get message so we are receiving the inside the get message using the firebase messaging instance so we are doing some configuration so the configuration is nothing but so we are uh, we need to declare the action about whenever we are receiving the message or in case if you close and reopen the application or uh, when you click the message so what we have to do so here we are simply set the state of the message with the title so the title is nothing but the title which is receiving from the server which is the fcm server okay so we will uh, see it uh, below in the example so what we are doing we are receiving some message and we are set the state of the message as the received one nothing else so then we are calling this get message from the init state which means when you open the application it immediately calls this get message and this firebase configuration will do it automatically so then this is the ui part so we created a scaffold inside the scaffold at the center we have created a column so inside the column we have the child called outline button and then uh, message so message is nothing but so whatever we are receiving from the fcm so we need to display it and uh, when the users click the register button we are registering our device to the firebase so this is what it's doing so let's run my example here you can see uh, my example is running so first we have to register our device so i am clicking register the device so here you can see inside the terminal i am getting the token so using this token i can send the message so i am just navigating to my firebase project so here go to the cloud messaging so you can send your first message so you need to type the title so I am just uh, setting the text so here I need to click send test message uh, I can use the token here so I am just copying it copying the token and paste here and click add so then click test so here you can see the hello message because we are displaying the title so you can see also inside the terminal so we are receiving the title and the body so the body is nothing but hello world you can also send the message using the curl so I'm just uh, copying this terminal command I'm just copying it so here I need to update my FCM token. So FCM token is nothing but we have created now. 
copying it and pasting here and then we need to update the server key so server key we can get it from so project overview settings cloud messaging so this is your server key so i'm just copying it and i need to paste here So now I am just uh, executing this on my terminal. Hit enter. So now you can see, so the title is changed. So I am just going to minimize my application. So now I am going to send the message again. So here you can see the title and the body is coming. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the instant notification whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Links on the description.